Adventure travel is a kind of tourism that has to do with exploration. We can describe this kind of tourism as something that includes cultural exchange, physical activities and activities in nature. And these are the three main components of the adventure tourism. Let's find out together more about it and more in particular about adventure tourism in Egypt. <laughs> Adventure tourism is characterized by its ability to provide the tourist with relatively high levels of sensory stimulation, usually achieved by including physically challenging experiential components with the tourist experience. Adventure travelers are early adopters by nature. So when we talk about nature, usually we are talking about mother nature, because when you travel, the most important and interesting part is being part of nature. And when we say nature, I'm talking about the natural world in general and the wildlife in particular. In Egypt, we have many of these destinations. It all has to do with the beautiful sites. And all of these sites will provide you with many, many interesting things, especially when it comes to adventure tourism. <laughs> Nature in Egypt is different and unique, as it has some special sites that will give a real chance to enjoy being part of nature, like camping in the White Desert.
The West Desert has a rich and varied history. It is best known for its magical and moonlike landscape. desert can be further divided into the white and black deserts as well as Bahariya oasis and Siwa oasis. desert you are far away enough from society you can see a full sky you will see maybe every 20 minutes one shooting star streaking across the desert Since the sun does not hold heat at night, it was a perfect temperature to camp out with sleeping bags. desert, there is also a chance to sandboard the sand waves in the small sand sea. Thank you. 
Khorasan Sea is an area of the West Desert near the Siwa Oasis, where sand dunes stretch for miles. Also an area that we call it small sand sea which has similar rolling and dunes to the great sand sea but it is much more easily accessible white desert in Egypt was the most adventurous, magical, and unique experience. You are interested in culture and history and as we mentioned in the beginning talking about cultural exchange well one of the most interesting sites to visit of course is Luxor in Luxor you have many different activities to enjoy of course in addition to the famous sites and monuments and tombs where you can visit so if you are interested in the ancient culture and civilization, definitely Luxor is highly recommended. But now I'm not only talking about Luxor, but I want to tell you about a new experience that you can have over there. I'm talking about the hot air balloons and you will never imagine such an experience. It is amazing because you are just flying in the top and you are just looking at Luxor and the temples and the monuments from up high in the sky. So just think about this experience and let me tell you more about it. or Thebes, which was the capital of the ancient kingdom. Today, as we know it as Luxor, is the world's greatest open-air museum.
to some of Egypt's most famous temples, tombs and monuments. gently floating over the valley of the kings, the final resting place of some of the greatest pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Imagine yourself with the hot air balloon in the early morning. The sun gently rises upstream of the river Nile as you slowly float over ancient temples and forgotten ruins. talking about the marine life but this time I'll talk more about diving if you want to dive and to live this experience because just diving in the Red Sea you are going to be part of the marine life surrounded by all kinds of fish and also the corals all around but this time I'm talking about diving in a different spot I'm talking about the blue hole one of the most adventurous diving spots not only in Egypt but in the whole world especially for professionals or of course for professionals who would like to find out or to explore the marine life and to enjoy diving in the blue hole <laughs> one of the most famous diving sites in the world. Those who had the courage to dive and explore this amazing diving site are sure to have had the diving of a lifetime.
located a few kilometers from the north of Dahab, on the Red Sea coast of the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. attracts experienced divers and curious people from all over the world. The depth reaches from 1,000 meters to 3,000 meters. It is famous for free diving for its easy access directly from the shore and the lack of current. Adventure tourism is a niche sector of the travel industry that focuses on experiences that allow people to enjoy a thrilling activity. The goal of any adventure tourism experience is to push an individual to try something that they would not otherwise do and to participate in an activity that they might not have access to in their local area. adventure tourism different is that you have a physical participation in the destination you are visiting and this is the most interesting part well that was all for our adventure tourism and let me tell you that in Egypt you will have many beautiful sites that will give you this chance and this experience to enjoy something new to try something new an experience that you will never forget next time we'll be back and we have many things to tell you about Egypt